Now, we've looked at coordinate geometry, things like midpoints and gradients and uh, distance formulas. We've been looking at them for a long time, but now we want to sort of just say more than, well, you can work out a distance or you can work out a midpoint, but why would you want to? What might be the value of it? What can you do with that skill that you couldn't do before. So here's a typical example of a geometry proof that you could absolutely do right now without any knowledge of coordinate geometry. Let's just try and spell this out for you. I'll, I'll draw a diagram to help you unpack what's going on. The first thing is, it says something about medians. What is a median? Hmm. Uh, we, we know about medians from statistics, right? You've got the mean, the median, the mode. In the context of stats, what is a median? Not a rhetorical question, have a think. You guys know what a median is, you thought about them in year eight. Yeah, let's start with an easier one. What's a mean? How do you calculate the mean, say, of all the heights of the people in this room, what would you do? You would add up, you'd add up everyone's heights, and then what would you do with that? You would divide by, in this case, 11, 12, to get the average height of the people in the room, maybe 170 centimeters, something like that. Right? But that's very different to the median. How would we find out the median height in this room? What do we do? We'd probably actually have to stand up and move, right? How would you, you'd probably arrange yourself slightly differently than this. How would you arrange yourself? You'd arrange yourself in height order, right? And then you'd say out of the, well, let's just go with 11, right? In 11 people, the sixth person along, right? The sixth person will be right in the center There'll be five people shorter than them, five people taller than them, and they're the median. Does that make sense? So in that context, a median divides something in half. In stats, it's a population. In the context of a triangle, go ahead and draw a triangle if you haven't already. Uh, I'm gonna draw one that looks like this. <clears throat> if you've got a triangle, what do you think a median might mean in this context if in stats, a median is about dividing a population in half? What do you think a median does? In a triangle, I should say. What do you think it might divide in half? Sorry. It divides a side in half, right? Now you've got three sides, so that means you'll have three medians. One will divide each side. So for example, draw these with me, right? Um, I'm going to put one over here. Make that halfway. So I've divided this in half. That's a midpoint. But the line that joins that midpoint to the opposite angle over there, the opposite vertex, that line there, that interval I should say, that's the median. Okay. Now you can create all the rest of the medians. You've drawn a triangle, I'd advise you, because this is actually a property, use your ruler, actually find out where are the other spots here. So I'm, I don't have, um, I haven't drawn this straight enough to be able to work out where that is, but I think that's pretty close to the midpoint of that side. And going from there to the other corner, zoop, that'll be the median for that. And then you're going to have your last, your third and last median that goes right down the center. Something like this. There we go. Now, we know what medians are now. They divide up each of the sides into half. So what this property is suggesting is, well, it's sort of what I've drawn here, right? That the medians of a triangle are concurrent. What does that mean? Concurrent. That's what the diagram tells you, right? Concurrent. They, yeah, say it again, ladder. Yeah, fantastic. They all meet at a single point, right? So we want them all to be coinciding at that one point. Uh, and we're going to give that point the name, the centroid, okay? Um, it's in the middle of the triangle, but there are lots of ways you can describe the middle of the triangle. Uh, for instance, if you do not medians, but altitudes. Does anyone know, you don't have to draw this. Does anyone know what an altitude is? An altitude. How would you describe altitude, like the altitude of a mountain or the altitude of a plane? What does that mean? It's, it's basically the height, right? You measure from directly beneath. So in a triangle like this, an altitude would be a line like that, right? It's the, it's the height from one point directly below. And of course, you've got other altitudes in this triangle from other points of view, okay? You can meet all of those up, you get another center of the triangle. But the centroid is the one we're interested in with the medians. In addition to them all meeting at one spot, it says this thing about them dividing up the medians in this ratio. So for instance, you don't have to draw this part, but I've got a color here. What this is suggesting is, have a look at mine. What this is suggesting is that this length here is going to be exactly 
double this length here. Does that make sense? See how it's a ratio of two to one? Yeah, I might even write that down there. So, I'm going to pause for a moment. I want you to think, how would you go about proving such a property with all of the knowledge that you, you have? You actually know enough here. I'm not gonna clue you in a little bit. I'm gonna give you three or four minutes, work with the person next to you, think, what could you do here? You don't actually have to do the proof. I just want you to think about how much you even start on the proof if this is what we want, to show that they all coincide here and that you're gonna get this ratio two to one. Uh, I guess you'd also have two to one and two to one. How much you do it? I actually want you to think for a few minutes and then I'm gonna show you the way that I did it. Okay, off you go, see what you come up with. You got an idea? Call me over. Okay, can I, can I show you now? This is just kind of a prelude, so I don't wanna bang too much of our time in this. I actually want to, to properly prove it with this, okay? But um, let me just say this right now. This is not a nice proof if you just use all the knowledge that you currently have. Remember when I said um, ratios? Did anyone think of what kind of knowledge you have apart from quarter geometry that has to do with ratios? Because you've got a couple of different directions you could go in. Any thoughts? Come on, ratios. You've got triangles. Think. Trigonometry should be like one of the first places you go because that's all about the ratios of sides in there. Uh, one of the problems that you have with that, it's not insoluble, but one of the problems is trig ratios, we tend to think of them in terms of what kind of triangles? Right angle triangles. And surely there are right angle triangles in here, but I don't have any at the moment. It's just some random triangle. So that would mean I'd have to go through like sine rule, cosine rule. It's going to be a bit icky, yeah? What other kind of knowledge of triangles do you have that has to do with ratios? Things you've had to prove before that give you things in proportion, which is just another way to say ratio. Come on, think. Similar triangles, similar triangles give you sides in particular proportions, right? Now, when you have a look at this guy, this is the way, this is the quickest way I could do it with the knowledge that you have before coordinate methods. This was the proof I came up with. You don't need to jot it down, I can send it to you if you want, um, or I'll just leave it up on the screen if you want to have a look at it. But it's, um, it's awful, okay? Let me point out how awful it is. Number one, you just look at its length, okay? Why is it so long? It's because there's not just one, there are two similar triangle proofs involved. It's not only got two similar triangle proofs, uh, it's one of those ones, have a look at my diagram, where you have to think of one of those constructions that's like, who would even think to do? Like, you know, you see a solution, you're like, who dreamed that up, right? I didn't see that to begin with. Um, it works, though. You could follow every single line of this and you'd be like, yep, 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 makes sense. Could you come up with it? Probably not, but, but it can be done. However, okay, the whole point of me showing this to you is to say, well, now that you know that actually we can do this by coordinate geometry, there are ways that are immensely easier. Yes, you could do it other ways, but watch how nicely this falls out if we actually think about this through a coordinate geometry lens. Okay, so underneath where you've drawn your diagram, write for me, proof. And we're going to tackle this with the knowledge that we do have, that we have developed in coordinate geometry. Okay, 